50 years back, this is me, uh, it's only three years back actually, April 2012, I was standing at the sidelines, hop, 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 volunteering for the members of Team Asha. And I was wondering, why are they running? It's silly, you know, wasting time. But actually, I found something. You know, I, I didn't tell the guys that, hey, it makes sense, giving pain to yourself. And then I said, what have I done to myself in comfort zone? You know, do I want to change? And so I started running step by step. But this crazy guy here on, in the white t-shirt, after three weeks, I started running. He said, come, let's do a half marathon. I said, how much is it? He said, 21.2 kilometers. I said, crazy cow. <laughs> but then he somehow persuaded me. He's a friend, you know. And then I started running and I injured my leg. Then somehow I recovered and I founded this organization. Write your own prescription. Sounds cool. We all are the masters of our own life. And then I do something and I start talking. That's me, you know. And so I started having workshop on health and happiness. I did a part of the health and this guy who was kind of happy, he claimed, he did the happiness part. <laughs> And we, we, we toured the world. We went to Switzerland, to New Delhi, because that's where I come from, you know. And then, when I was speaking, one friend of mine from USA, he said, man, you want to be a public speaker? I said, of course. Then join the Toastmasters. I said, what the heck is it? Toastmasters, never heard this word. He said, join it. And I joined the Mosquito Hill Toastmasters. Six months down the line, there was a humorous speech contest. I said, wow, cool. I joined it. Then one stage after other, I went on and I won the Swiss competition in humorous in six months. I went to Budapest and uh, I did the European competition. Yeah, I saw new places. Isn't that cool? But this WYOP, write your own prescription, running club went on. People started coming, those who wanted to write their prescription, started stretching, started doing exercise, young, old kids, everybody. Wow, cool, we found it. Then I said, if there is something called Zurich Marathon, let me also build something called as a WYOP Marathon. So we organized this race called the first WYOP run in 2014. And guess what? 100 people came, kids, adults, everybody, they ran. This year again, we did it. 2015, the second WYOP run. A lot of guys came in, more people from four months till 70 years old. Cool, they had fun, they came in, and we all had a gala time, you know, it was really very fascinating. I kept on running, I don't know why, did many runs, spent a lot of time on the road, but I could convince everybody except my mother. <laughs> she said, in India, you need to look chubby. She said, you are getting weak, and you are getting darker. I said, I am dark, I can't, be darker beyond a certain way, but she was not. Last year, I wanted to do a full marathon. I failed, but I went to cheer my friend, Anindya, who was the guy who helped me to start running. But you know, when I wrote my blog, I wrote my full marathon is still on the dream. And this year, I did it. Almost close to two hours, no, no, it took me double the time, but I finished the race. But guys, if you want to watch me running, come up. Jung from Marathon and Frankfurt are next on my list. So that's the way it is. Always challenge more than what you can do. So volunteerism helped me, not only running. Besides that, I started writing articles on health, why cardiovascular health is important, stress and obesity and all this blah, blah, blah you did. I was also this blah, blah, blah party and trying to tell people, convince people. But what helped me was, I made new friends. Normally, I don't connect to people, but friends here are like, we got connected through running. You see this? I never hold hands of guys, but here you see, I'm holding the hand because I want to finish the race. Hold me, catch me, take me, give me a lift. I just, I don't read books, but because of running, I started reading books. And I will never read a book titled as what I talk when I talk about running. But guys, this guy is great. If you want to read Haruki Murakami, he's the guy for you and somehow impressed. I have a new identity. This was me 50 years back. No, actually three years back. This is me. And I tell you a story. Two days back, I went to the SBB counter. I wanted to get my eye card changed. This lady at the shelter looked at me. Is this you? Change the photograph. I said, one more year. Can you please allow it? No, go away. So there's a problem when you change your identity. <laughs> So volunteerism saved me because I am doing everything today because I was a volunteer once. It not only saved me, it has shaped me, I say. That's the way it is. So be a volunteer if you want to do. It has made me a runner. It has made me a friend. It has made me a writer. It has made me a speaker. So it has given a reason to live. That's the way it is. If you don't have a reason to live, a lot of you guys have a reason to live. I have a reason because I was a volunteer. And volunteerism is the reason why I am here today speaking to you, because I have a story to share. 
So I always thought volunteerism actually is to give. It doesn't. It's not about giving. It's, it actually gives much more than you think that you will give to volunteerism. So guys, just like the guys here in Ignite Zuring are volunteering, keep on volunteering. You will never know what you will achieve with volunteering. It's just enriching your life. Thank you very much. Yeah.